Hey guys, James here today, and welcome to The Sims 4 Get to Work. I, I don't know what I'm calling this series yet, but obviously the title exists on the video, so you can check it there. But welcome to this brand new Let's Play series. Now, uh, if, you are, if you haven't seen the previous series that leads into this one, I will give you a quick summary. This is Lady Big Wallet. She, uh, she's worked her way up from, from nothing. She had zero dollars when she started her life, and she wanted to make it big. She wanted to be rich. And uh, we played through the series, and she started up her own art gallery from nothing, and she ended up with this beautiful big renovated uh, factory, this big industrial factory uh, that she's renovated into an art studio. There are currently no paintings for sale because we, we sold them all at the end of the last series. So, uh, she sold all her paintings. Here's a little art studio down the bottom. Uh, this is where she did her painting. There's a little painting of a gnome we're working on. Uh, so she's worked her way up from nothing. And now she's finally at a place in her life where she has enough money to actually buy a nice home. Because currently she's living in an apartment here at the store. Which, by the way, is not a bad apartment. It's very nice. But she really wants her own home. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna start off uh, a new chapter in her life. And uh, get living, really. Because she's spent the past, I don't know, let's imagine it's five, ten years just painting away in a factory. It's time to move on. It's time to get a life. I, I could have said get to work, but really we've just finished the working series. So it, it would have been better. But hey, let's go for a quick recap of Lady's life. Let me introduce you to Lady Big Wallet. How about I take a photo of the gardener? He's just over there. We seem to like taking photos of people. Oh, what? He thinks he's so cool. It's like you have a very, very beautiful face. Oh, when, when we become rich. Look how many hot dogs there are! I want to eat it all because I can't make my own food. We can just live up here. We can just barbecue here, eat here, put it in the bin, sleep on our bench up here. That's nice. Okay, open store. Open for business! Oh my god, floating burgers! She totally wants to buy that kid. That kid wants to buy more than her. Come one, come all to see the amazing pear paintings and childlike creations. $806, he bought the masterpiece. You, how where did you get that money? Why would your parents give you that much money? Start selling that. Oh, hello, aphrodisiac. You filthy pig. You filthy, filthy pig. If you're gonna, I, I, I made a plate for everybody. And you take my one. On the new easel, get excited, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a good painting. I can feel it. Well, I mean, one day we will own the world. So that will be a good day when it comes. Ugh, why did I spend all this money on a factory? We just got some massive renovations underway. We can't really afford to do much more. We're waiting for a few more sales. Inside joke. Remember that time you bought an $800 painting? <laughs> Closing store. Closing down for business. Oh! Ghost bubble. Ghost bubble. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is stunning. Uh, hey, max sales skill. Good job, aphrodisiac. You're white as a ghost, though. Oh, God. We did quite a lot of, you know, interior changes here. We uh, got this brand new mezzanine level. Um, you've got something on your hand. $10,032. Oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> All right, all right, so now, anyways, now that we've done the recap, you know what's going on, let's go ahead and move her into the house. So I've built her a house. Um, can I actually, I think we might have to go home. I don't know, travel, can I, or do I have to, move house, oh, that's what I wanted. No, I don't have to go home, good. Uh, yeah, so I built her a house. You can check out the build videos in the description down below. There's two parts, part one and two, obviously, because there's two parts. So you can check out the building of the house in the comments down below. Uh, so you can and see how that all took shape. But we're going to be living in Willow Creek. we got a beautiful traditional uh, or semi-traditional kind of Victorian styled home just over here called Big Wallet Manor. $182,000. Uh, remaining funds, we still have 56000 left. So we're, we're sitting pretty, really. Okay, so we're moving into our brand new house. This is exciting. She used to live, well, she used to own an empty plot of grass that we never lived on. And, uh... So this is, this is really exciting. So let's start our life. I don't even know what we're going to be doing. I guess first things first, we should probably have something to eat. So let's go, look at this beautiful house. It's a little bit empty. What we do need to do is actually get her to do some more paintings to decorate the house because we need to put all of our paintings around the place. But here's our house. We'll take a quick tour in case you didn't see the build videos. So downstairs, we have this beautiful entrance foyer that has three rooms coming off of it. So on the left, we just have a sort of formal sitting room, uh, a couple of sofas, a fireplace. On the right, we have the entertainment room. 
Still with some formal sofas, a nice big TV as well, so you can have a little bit of fun. Uh, at the end of the hallway, we have the kitchen and dining area. A little bit open plan, so it's a little bit modernized, not quite uh, traditional as you would expect. Uh, off to the left of that, we have a nice large bathroom, four-piece bathroom at that. Uh, and then we have a small little study at the back here with a, a funky little chair because she thought that'd be kind of cool. Upstairs we have another sort of hallway here in the middle. On the right we have a nice parlor room with a grand piano, uh, a chess table and a large fireplace as well. Uh, on the left of that we have a, a little home gym as well so she can keep working out because uh, she does like to work out. She uh, she has the gym rat uh, sort of reward trait, so she enjoys it and she doesn't get stinky while doing it. So that's why we've got a home gym for her to exercise in. At the back of the house we have a nice large master bedroom with a walk-in robe and ensuite as well with a nice large spa tub. And then we have another bathroom here in the middle. Because uh, as we move throughout the series, we will be renovating the house, making changes. Uh, these will probably eventually be, be, uh, be bedrooms as she gets a partner, has children, etc, etc. Upstairs on the final level, this is her art studio. Not quite as extravagant and large as her last one, but this is in our own home. And she's pretty proud of it. Uh, so I've actually uh, put in this sort of little photo studio as a way to, you know, so she can paint and get some nice lighting on uh, stuff that she's painting. Uh, but here we are. And uh, she's a little bit hungry, so let's go grab some food. Ooh, we could do, we should do some upgrading. Actually, that's a very good idea. We might, we might work on that. Uh, let's have some brunch. Now, you know what? Let's serve brunch. Let's serve some. Um, let's serve some French toast, and then let's let's see if we can meet some of the neighbors. Because I think we, I think we live opposite the Goths. Yeah, they, that is an eyesore of a house. Wow, that is. See, this is our house. Our house is beautiful, and then there's Jesus. But we might. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully they're walking on the street because I don't, I don't want to visit the house. I want them to come visit me. Ooh, there's someone. Yeah, we'll try and meet some of the neighbors, you know. Have a little bit of a social life because she's never lived in the suburbs before. She's lived on a field, but that was about it. So there she go. Oh, damn. She's a good cook. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, she, she's quite she's quite far in her life. We still have aging turned off. So, I mean, we're not going to worry about that just yet. We'll worry about the aging and, and all that kind of stuff when we get a partner and have children because that's when we'll have to sort of actually advance her life. Because if we had aging on... Uh, she would probably be dead by now <laughs> from the beginning of the series. So, yeah, anyways. So she's making a lot of French toast. Oh, oh, Ingrid. Oh, my God, it's Ingrid. Hello. She's like, oh, okay. So, again, if you didn't watch the previous series, she was one of our best customers. She bought so many paintings from us, gave us so much money, and I can't believe she's here to see me. That's amazing. Invite in. Yes, come in. Come in, Ingrid. I think that woman there was also a customer of mine. Yeah, well, we know her, so she must have been that guy as well. I recognize all these people. This is great. Hey, Ingrid. What up? She's, she, Ingrid's like, oh, wow, you finally made it. You finally made it. You've got a house in the suburbs, a beautiful house as well. Come on in. Come see my house. I wish I could give her a tour. Do you want to, can we call to meal? Yeah, call to meal. There we go. No, no, no. Uh, there we go. Call to meal. Come on. Ah, there we go. Let's have some, okay, well, you could have had that one you already took out. Let's put that in the fridge. <laughs> Let's put that in the fridge for later. Oh, this this couldn't be better. I'm so excited right now. Okay, you go in the fridge because I, I don't want that to go off. Oh, this is great. This is this is actually, this is perfect. I can't believe Ingrid's here to see us. What's going on, Ingrid? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's so, like, it's so awkward because... It's, I, I think it's hilarious because she used to be our customer. It's like really awkward. They're like, hey, come come visit me. And they're just not talking. They're just sitting there really, really awkwardly eating. Hop, hop, hop. And smiling. Yeah. So, new house, huh? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's spur some conversation on. Uh, let's see, share ideas. I reckon Ingrid and I should uh, open up a business together. And by that, I mean we should just employ her. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Give her pet. No, let's not give her pet tips. Let's do a little bit of gossiping about all the other customers. So, Lady Big Wallet, she does actually want to get a career in... Uh, she she keeps wanting to get a career uh, just in anything, really. So, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I really want to give her a career just yet. Ew, she's visibly stinking. I don't know. But, of course, leave your comments and what you want to see for Lady Big Wallet in the comments down below. Uh, so we can sort of shape our life together because we have a lot of possibility right now. We've got a lot of, we're sitting on a lot of money. Uh, do we have more in the store now? We have literally all the money with us. Okay, Ingrid, that's, that's cool. Um, do you want a heartfelt compliment? Yeah, no, we, we're like best friends. How good is that? That's really nice. I, oh, this is one of my other former customers come to greet me. Hello, come in. 
Yes, come in. Um, welcome. I I'm actually gonna have a shower because I'm stinking like hell. But you know, why are you going home? Anyways, have a shower because uh, you do stink quite a bit. Uh, okay, well, you could use my computer. And where are you going? Oh, to play chess. Oh, I'll play that. Let's go join game. There you go. Where's? Are you gonna? Can I come watch or something? I don't know. Get to know. Do I even know you that well? I don't know you're alright. If you could come up stairs, that'd be great. Uh, is she coming? Yeah, here we go. That's better. Oh, Ingrid's gone. <laughs> Where did Ingrid go? Oh, that's sad. Unless she went upstairs. Oh, there she is. Hey, do you want to come, um, ask to play chess? I think she's, was she going to take a photo? And I think she was going to take a photo with her. <laughs> I didn't say you could do that. And no, 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 you come in here. Tell a dramatic story. Come in. Come into the room. You're, you're welcome. There we go. Hey, we're all in here. Fantastic. Now we just need one of our classy friends to play the piano. That'd be great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, life couldn't be better. Life could not be better for Lady. She's absolutely loving it. Oh, she... Oh, she, no, I was going to say, is she going to play the piano? That'd be perfect. And she's leaving the room. And she's going downstairs. I don't know where she's going. Let's see. Are you... Are you going to use my computer again? I wish my camera was faster. Go faster. She's using my computer. What is she doing? Why did you close the door? Nah, we're good. Alright. Uh, yeah, she's just standing there for some reason. Anyways, having a great game of chess with Ingrid. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like we should go out for a night on the town. We've never done that. We've never been out for a, a wonderful night out. So let's uh, let's stop playing. Let's, um, let's travel with the girls. Let's have a girls night out. That'll be cool. Uh, let's go for travel with... Uh, oh, Aphrodisiac! Oh, Aphrodisiac is coming along with us. Uh, and Allison as well. That's her, I think. I don't know. Let's go for Girls Night Out. Aphrodisiac's coming with us. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. I, I really recommend, though, if you haven't seen the Rex to Riches series, you should probably go check out at least a little bit of it. Because, I mean, already we have plenty of references to it. So, if you haven't seen it, it might not really be making sense right now. Uh, let's go to the Blue Velvet Nightclub. I feel like I should download some more nightclubs. Uh... Because, or just replace some of the buildings in my town, because it's kind of all standard at the moment. I don't know. I guess I, I could place my nightclub that I made. But, I don't know. But let's, uh, let's have a party. Party up in here. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Oh, it's Bella. We're not really friends with Bella, though, so, you know. I feel like we should be a little bit more formal. Oh, God, what are you wearing? Jesus. Ingrid looks pretty funky. I guess, no, let's not, not formal. Let's go into a uh, party. What party wear do I have? I, just, I have some weird party wear. Oh, that's good. I chose a good one. <laughs> All right. Let's go drinking, ladies. Oh, yeah. Do I know you? You look familiar. No, I don't know. You. I don't know. He looks like... Uh, practice making drinks. No, order drink. Let's see what we can order. What's the most expensive drink on the menu? I'm celebrating. A sea of fire. That sounds good. Let's get that. 89. We're made of money. Like, we can just go to spending spree. Where, where's all my ladies at? Why are you not joining me? Are you going to join me at the bar? Can I ask you to come join me or something? Uh, I feel like you should all be sitting here with me. Uh, I don't know. Deep conversation. Maybe if I just do some chat interactions, I'll come over. Uh, call over. There you go. Just come over this way. And Aphrodisiac, what are you doing? Call over. There we go. Alright, Allison just became good friends with Lady. Nice. Made a new friend. Well, good friend. Yo, Ingrid, are you coming? Tell an engaging story. Ingrid! Ingrid! Okay, here she comes. Are we good? Oh, you can sit next to me. Sit next to me. Sit next to me. Oh, what up, Aphrodisiac? Oh, this is good stuff. I like this. Share a secret with Aphrodisiac. I never really liked you. I just stole all your money. <laughs> um, get to know. What are you doing? Why would you walk around to the other side of the bar to get your drink? Oh, you know. Psst, psst, psst. I don't really like you. <laughs> That's good though. Who's this? Who are you? Uh, Carl Benjamin. Let's talk to him. Hello. Let's do a little bit of flirting, I think. Oh, actually, no. Where's that drink? I, I didn't mean to cancel the drink. You can have that. I don't know what I did with it now. It's gone. Oh, okay. Where's he going? No, no, no. I want to talk to you. Brighten his day. You look fantastic. Where's he going? He's sitting down again? Alrighty. Joke about politicians. How about them politicians, hey? They're pretty crazy. 
Uh, I'm really good at flirting, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> let's let's uh, actually do a little bit of flirting, and then let's go for a little bit of a pickup line, and then let's go for uh, no, not friendly. Let's not let's not go to friendly. Let's go for compliment his appearance. Really loving the facial hair you got going on. It's pretty funky. I like I like your hairstyle as well. It's really really greased back nicely. That was a uh, one smooth grease you got there. Mm, look at that. That is that is good. Stop moving your head, doll. Stop stop moving your head, doll. Oh, there we go. Didn't actually mean to take a screenshot there, but I did. Oh, feeling very flirty. Oh, offer a rose. That seems kind of weird and a little bit. That's a little bit presumptuous, but let's go for it. Hey, she she's not shy. She's not one for beating around the bush. She's uh, she's all about giving the roses. She can you give a rose. Oh, there it is. See if he likes it. He loved it. He loved the rose. Sexy pose. How about that? Ooh. Oh. Ooh la la. He liked that. Uh, I don't think anything more is going to happen with this guy. It's just a little bit of harmless flirting and kissing of the hands. Oh, no, okay. No, never mind. All right. This guy's out. That's up. That's over. Let's go. Let's go back to the ladies. Share ideas with Ingrid. I have plenty of ideas, Ingrid. I feel like... Look at this. It's like a lineup of ladies. Girls night out, having a good, having a good gal chat. It's good stuff. The, the ratio in this bar is fantastic though. It's like 90% women and one guy. Well, I guess that doesn't make any sense. It's all women and one guy. He is, uh, he is set. This is, where, why can't I find bars like this in real life? The ratio is just absolutely out of this world. <laughs> it's like the bartender and that one guy over there. <sighs> well, you know, it's all good. I guess we don't know what type of bar this is, though, to be fair. So, I mean, might not be uh, the type of bar I'd go to. There we go. Oh, the bartender's just having decided to have a chat with us. All right, let's practice making drinks then. I'll, I'll take your job. There we go. Yeah. Because I clearly know how everything about making drinks. Maybe this is her new calling. Maybe we should open a bar. I wish you could actually do- I wish you could do that and get to work. Like, open up a bar or something, or like a restaurant. That'd be fun. I really hope they add that in. Okay, or you could not phase into my body. Thank you. I have standards! I do not let anybody phase into my body. Lightly. Thank you very much. She came and got her drink, and everybody's gone off to this room. Alright, let's, let's demonstrate one of my many other talents. Such as playing the piano. I don't have that talent, but let's try it out. Let's try it on for size. Are there any other guys here? Oh, there is. There's this guy. Who's this? Do I know you? Um, what's your name? Dandre. I think I've seen you at my store, but I don't. We don't know each other. Let's go talk to him. Okay, that's enough piano. <laughs> what up, Dandre? See, I I know a lot of these people from my store, except for all of you people. They could be aliens, so we don't know. We don't know who they are. Where did Dandre go? Oh, is he the new bartender? Oh, let's go have a chat with him. Yeah, how come there's like no dudes at this bar? <laughs> it's just like this one guy that we already failed flirting with. Okay, stop talking. Let's go flirt with the bartender. That'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Romance. Pick up line. I reckon we could uh, work our way around all the guys in the bar. It's not that hard. There's two of them. Hey, flirty. There we go. Don't know if he's feeling flirty though. Let's see. Get to know a little bit. Uh, let's see. Ask if single. <laughs> that, that's a little bit forward. Just met you, but uh, here's my number. Call me maybe. How about how about Carly Rae Jepsen releasing another single? She's totally wanting to get back into the game right now. Everybody's back in the bar. Oh, see you later, Afro. You leaving? I mean, she's waving to everyone. I presume you're leaving. Oh, not. Okay, you're just waving. Just having a good wave. Yo, what up? I'm in the room. Aphrodisiac's in the house. I really want to change her name. That'd be fun if I could actually change. I don't know how to do it. I presume you can. Maybe we could like cheat to add her to the household or something and then like change her name and then kick her out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, oh yeah, what did he ever answer me by the way? Uh, oh, we single. No, let's not offer him a rose. That's really weird. Let's stop off. Let's stop offering random dudes on the street a rose. I feel like that's something we shouldn't be doing. I feel like that's kind of outside of the social norm. You don't kind of just go to a bar with a bunch of roses in your back pocket to hand out. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. All right, I think we're going to have to call it a night. It's only 1 a.m., but, you know, lady's getting tired, so I think it's time that we went home. It's time we got a good night's rest, and then we think about our future. Maybe 
Maybe uh, we should uh, think about getting a job. I mean, we don't need a job, but just a job to have fun, you know? Maybe, I don't know, do you reckon she could be, she could be a scientist, she's pretty smart. Or she could be a detective, ooh, that'd be fun. You know, she's a, she's a hard ass, so you never know. Or she could be a doctor. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, but can you actually go home now? Like I told you like 20 minutes ago. Thank you very much, let's go home! Uh, go home to our beautiful new home. How exciting is that? Lady, you don't have to go back to a stinky old industrial factory. Uh, <laughs> we don't have to go there anymore. Uh, and a few people did ask if we were going to sell uh, the, the, the sort of store and all that. Uh, I have no plans on selling that at all. Uh, I think you can... Uh, I'm not actually sure how it works, but I think you can run stores without actually having to go with them. I think they can still bring in money. Um, so we might have to look into that. We might have to just turn it into like a regular sort of art gallery type of place and see how we go. But I don't know. Anyway, let's go have a nice, beautiful night's sleep. Let's go actually auto lights this light, because that's a bedroom. This light. Let's auto light that as well. I think we have some on the wall as well. Auto lights, this light. Auto lights, this light. There we go. We really, I guess we should probably auto light the whole house. Should probably make more sense. Yeah, let's do that actually. <laughs> Instead of doing individual lights. Auto lights, all lights. Otherwise, we're going to be paying a lot in electricity. Uh, oh, and it's daytime. Oh, it's because the time's going super fast. I was like, wow, that was, uh, that was pretty early. I guess I might leave on... I think I'm going to leave on this light. Just so, you know, burglars don't come. They don't exist in The Sims 4. But, you know, we're pretending, you know. Leave the light on to scare the burglars away. There you go. Oh, look at that sunrise on the house. That's beautiful. I I think we need to go out on the balcony here and paint something. That's what I really want to do. Well, let's go paint from reference. Let's see what kind of views we get off of this balcony. I think that'll be cool. Uh, can you get up, doll? Let's get up. Let's go... Uh, she, she, uh, she's, she still wants to paint, you know, even though she did it as a, as her job for like 10 years, but, uh, okay, can I, let's see, what, ooh, look at that, that's nice. Let's see, we can get over here, we can get a little sun in the corner, not the ideal place for the sun, but you can do something like that, that's a nice painting. Get the little bird at the top. Oh, there you go. That's gonna be a masterpiece. Uh, now, I have no inclination to actually sell paintings anymore. These are just, we'll probably put this up around the house somewhere. Uh, so it's not really to sell. It's just for a little bit of fun, you know. Get back into the painting game. Okay, I wish the camera wasn't falling all over the place. I'm trying to get a position where the camera isn't like falling down. There we go. All right, let's see Let's see how this goes. She's a little bit hungry. She's still got some French toast. Own 15 pieces of art. We have five. Uh, that is really bad painting actually. Like really bad. You can't even, it's like so washed out. <laughs> it's like so washed out. Uh, this can go, this can go in a bad room. Where's a bad room? Uh, what's the worst room in the house? Probably, I'd probably say the home gym. Just because it just has gym items in it. Doesn't look that great. Uh, that can go in here. There you go. Just go on the wall there. Looks good. And frame. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Apparently people said you could change the color and buy mode of the frame, but, uh, definitely does not work. Jeez, <coughs> excuse me. It does, it is worth 2,500 bucks though. So it's not too bad. Okay, let's go have some leftover breakfast. Actually, what we might do is I think we, well, first of all, we should probably clean up those plates from yesterday. Uh, but I would like to upgrade some of the stuff in here because uh, she's got, she's pretty handy. She did a lot of her own plumbing work at the, at the factory or at the art gallery. So I think she can handle uh, a little bit of fixer upper work at home. There we go. Clean it up in the beautiful island sink. Let's go for, not that. Uh, upgrade. Re no, that's the door. Upgrade. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> it is a I don't know. For some reason, I thought that was like reinforced door. I was like, what would that upgrade even be? There's no... Bur that should be a thing, though. When they add burglars in, and I hope they add them in, you should be able to like reinforce the doors with like uh, deadbolt locks and that. So it's like harder for them to break in. That'd be cool. Oh, what up, Allison? Just going for a walk. That's all good. Alrighty. I, I, I still don't get why... They would add in decorative fruit bowls that you can't actually eat out of. Like, why can't I just grab a piece? It should be like, eat fruit, eat fruit, eat, let me eat fruit. I feel like that should have been a thing. Anyways, after you've done that, let's upgrade to, let's see, what is it? Oh, what's sturdy faucet? Obviously, that'd be better. That'll clean itself. Uh, auto soap dispenser. I guess that helps clean up faster. I don't know. Let's go for a, I don't know if you can do multiple upgrades. Some, some items you can, some you can't. So I don't know. Let's do that one first. Sturdy faucet so it doesn't break as often. It shouldn't break for a while because we only just got the place. Do we have a... Uh, we don't have a bin in the kitchen, do we? But we, the bin is just outside, so I don't think I'll bother with that. That's alright. 
Okay, can I upgrade it again, or is it, does it replace it? I don't know, I don't think it does. I think we just have an awesome sink. A super sink, as it were. Any oh, Ingrid! I was gonna say, is anyone outside? Oh, yeah, she's there. That's kind of weird, but uh, you can come in. Come hang out. Hey, you wanna come in? That's cool, you can help me upgrade the sink. <laughs> help me upgrade the sink, Ingrid. You wanna come talk? You can come, you can come in. Deep conversation. There you go. You can come into the house if you want. Do you wanna go play the piano? I'll play and you can listen. <laughs> Where are you? What's this? Deep connection. Oh, that's nice. The Ingrid like is her best friend though, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Can I order by friend? Oh, well, I have three friends. <laughs> I can't believe Aphrodisiac is my friend. <laughs> After everything we've been through as well. Let's see. Uh, so I guess Ingrid is my best relationship. How about that? That's pretty good. She's literally my best friend. I want to go over to your house. Where do you live? So your name is Ro. Let's find out. Do you live around here? Uh, move in household from the gallant. No, I don't want to do that. Visit. Well, who lives there? Maybe it's an empty house. Move in household. No, I can do that on any house. Hang on. Let's have a look at the map. I think the map says. I want to find out where she lives. I want to visit her. I want to see her house. You know, she's seen my house. She's come to my store. I want to see where she. She probably like lives in a little shack or something, doesn't she? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't have her. Maybe she just lives in the neighborhood. Uh, there. No, maybe she lives over here. Oh, it's the springs. If she doesn't live there, then I don't know where she is. Let's see. Uh, Benjamin. Caliente. Uh, Land Grab. Maybe she lives around here somewhere. Ricks. Zest. Woodroof. Maybe there? No. Did she live anywhere? Maybe she doesn't have a house. I don't think she does. I think she just lives in the ether. Or the ether. I don't know why I said ether. <laughs> she just lives in the ether. She doesn't have a house. That's really sad. I really feel for you. See, if the worlds were bigger in The Sims 4, she would have a house. But unless she lives in Magnolia Promenade, I mean, she wouldn't. But no, that's just stills. Uh, yeah, I don't think she uh, she lives anywhere. That's She's homeless. She's a... Uh, Oh no, no, okay, no, we're good. <laughs> the, okay, I I checked like these and not that one. Alright, let's visit the row. Who is that? Who is that strapping gentleman? There's so many I haven't seen the two I haven't seen the two on the left before. Maybe I have, but I only I know I definitely know Cole on the right and then Ingrid. Let's visit her house. Let's go Yeah, let's travel with Ingrid to her own house. Uh this is exciting. Let's see where she lives. I think we have a better house than her though. I think we're better off than her. I don't know how she... I mean, she single-handedly gave me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, no doubt. I, I think she did anyways. I think she gave me tons of money. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. It's pretty fancy. It's quite roomy as well. Kind of a similar layout. You know, you have the, the sort of the hallway in the middle, the rooms off to the sides. Uh, it's, it's quite... It is very roomy. I'll give it that. But it's it's no big wallet manor. Uh, is Cole home? Who are you guys? I, I've never met you before. Friendly introduction. So are you... Who is... Like, how is this family structured? Are you like her sister? Or are you like her mom? Or... And who are you? Are you like her brother? I, I don't know how this family works. We might have to... I don't know. This is a weird, weird household. Everything's back to front. Uh, let's play with uh, Ingrid though. You know, I don't want to play with- I don't want to talk to the other people. Um... Or not? So what's happening? Hey, there's Cole. What up, Cole? We should go say hi to him. Ask about his day. I don't know where you are. I told you to go play chess a while ago, but that didn't happen, obviously. Yeah, what's up, Cole? Yeah, he also spent a lot of money in my store. He was just a little- he was just a little child when we first met him. And he bought a painting. Uh, from that was that's when he bought a painting and we just when we just had a single wall on a piece of sand that was uh, good times so she's playing chess can we go join her can we stop talking to the family let's go join game please there we go hey girlfriend what up yeah we're playing a little bit of chess let's view this way it's probably a little bit nicer oh that's nice you can see straight through to the other house hmm oh yes I need to think about that move real quick Hmm. Uh, 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 yes, of course. I like how she moves it and then it just like teleports back. They're playing wizard's chess! You can't move it with your hands. Knight to E8. The dumb thing about- Okay, so presuming you've seen the first Harry Potter movie or even read the book. 
I, I, I just, I still don't quite understand. Maybe there's a reason, but why did Ron have to be on the night? Like, why did he have to be riding the night? And also, when it was destroyed, he wasn't even hit, he just fell off. I mean, like, it's not that bad, get over it. Though, to be fair, I think it was, a, uh, it was either in, like, the commentary or something for the movie, but he actually, like, when they, when they, um, I think it was when they did knock him off, or when something blew up, he was actually hit in the face by some rubble. That was funny. Good times. What are you looking at? Yeah, good. Yeah, but no, Wizard's Chest is dumb. Especially, like, well, I mean, the, the one where they had to ride it was dumb. That didn't make any sense. <sighs> I mean, they're wizards for God's sake. Can't they just, like, give themselves... Just get a Horcrux and you'll be fine. Anyways, <laughs> let's let's head home. It was, it was nice hanging out with at your house, Ingrid, but your house is kind of scungy. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't like it as much as my house. So in future, just come just come to my house. Let's let's not visit you. I, I don't really like where you live. Your neighborhood's a little bit rough for my liking. A little bit rough. Uh, and your house is just kind of gross. Just just kind of gross, really. Uh, but here we are back at Big Wallet Manor. How are we feeling? Are we feeling good? I think we could do another painting. Let's go paint uh, the old toilet in here because we haven't done that yet. I don't, hopefully we can actually fit in here. Paint from reference. Let's go for a, no, we'll go large because we need to get the vertical height on it. Maybe let's see if we can actually get a good view. I haven't tested this out yet. If we can get a good view, let's see. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that's a, that is actually the perfect angle. Look at that. Maybe we should have changed the background, but oh, let's go with that. Let's see how we go. This is actually a nice little painting area. It's good. I like this little room. It's a little bit small, but you know, it gets the job done for now. We'll renovate in the future, make it uh, large and glorious, but uh, until then. The, uh, the log is looking pretty good. I like the looks of it. Can you paint a little bit faster, Dal? There we go. 3,000 bucks, that's pretty good. Alright, let's find out what room we put this in. I feel like this should go in her bedroom. Um, maybe she can look at her every day when she wakes up. Put it in the middle of that wall. Let me go into buy mode and actually move that around. Oh, hang on. There we go. I guess I should go above the couch, but then I wanted to put it in the middle of the wall, but then above the couch looks a little bit better, I think. So we'll go there, and then we can go... Add frame. Beautiful. Fantastic. Alright, go have a beautiful bubble bath in that large spa. That'll be nice. Oh, look at this bathroom as well. It's absolutely stunning. Who built it? It is fantastic. That's not a very good bubble bath. There's barely any bubbles. I wouldn't, okay, I would not call that a bubble bath. That's like a, a weird detergent sink wash. Even washing in the sink has more soap than that, actually. <laughs> that's just like, that's not a bubble bath. That's really disappointing. I'm, I'm really upset by that. Uh, anyways, after that, you can go have a sleep. All right, but I'm going to leave. Oh, yeah. In case you hadn't seen it, let's just have a look at this. I'll show you this, yeah. We got our, we got our beautiful little gnome. Oh, that, the lighting on him as well is kind of creepy. That's funny. Can we change the color of the fountain? I think you can, but I don't know if I can actually click it. Because uh, we, do, I did actually put a uh, sort of a pool fountain in the middle of it so that the water goes up higher. Um, anyways, that's a little fountain. Yeah, that's nice. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave comments down below on uh, what you want to see Lady do because I would, I would like to hear your opinion on which because I want to do one of the active careers in get to work either doctor scientist or detective I want to do one of those three so leave your, in the comments down below which do you think lady should be doing should she be a doctor a scientist or a cop uh I mean any of them are going to be fun really so uh let me know uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll also uh, work on our love life, make sure we go out to lots of parties, host our own party. I think we'll host a party soon, actually. That could be a bit of fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.